50,000 subscribers. That is absolutely... Actually, Adam, it's 53,000 subscribers. It's just really important to be accurate with your facts. All right, 53,000 subscribers. That's totally incredible. And whether you've been around since my first video, my 10th video, or my last video, I want to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for getting involved on social media. It really means the world to me. Anyway, uh, some people have said that my videos are getting a little bit too long lately, that maybe I like the sound of my own voice too much. What? It's a nice voice. Good, strong, masculine baritone. <laughs> anyway, without further fanfare or hype, this is it, the 50,000 calorie challenge. No biggie. Ooh, rules. Rule number one, I've got 50 hours to eat 50,000 calories. Simple enough. Rule number two, liquids are allowed. I like milkshakes. Sue me. Rule number three, absolutely no watching of the new Fast and Furious movie. Nothing to do with the challenges, just good life advice. And actually speaking of the Fast and Furious, I think I smell what The Rock is cooking. That's weird. So here we have it. Meal number one is a challenge within a challenge. In front of me, I've got four pizzas, 12 chocolate chip pancakes, and 21 peanut butter brownies, otherwise known as The Rock's legendary cheat meal. Now this one is an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, and so many people have asked me to do this lately. I was actually gonna do this last week, but a couple of evil subscribers asked me to eat a bunch of chocolate for Easter. Despicable human beings. <laughs> Now, Matthew Stoney did this in 33 minutes flat, so we'll see how close I can get to that. <laughs> so all the food in front of me here comes in at 15,267 calories. Plus, we got an old favorite from last time. Um, if you saw the 35,000 calorie cheat day, then this is one of my Ben & Jerry shakes. Uh, that comes in at pretty much 3,000 calories all by itself. And actually, uh, a couple of you guys messaged me uh, saying thank you for the recipe, so you're welcome. Um, I don't know many people out there that can spare 3,000 calories on one single milkshake, but whatever. So everything here comes in at a whopping 18,420 calories. Start as we mean to go on. This is Beard Meets Food, and this is the 50,000 calorie challenge. Just gonna show you guys my phone real quick. What focus is. So we are 19.05 on uh, Monday the 24th of April, so I've got 50 hours from this point to get down 50,000 calories. Wish me luck. So this is it, meal one. Getting kind of emotional now. Getting ready to start this 50,000 calorie journey, and it's been about 40 hours since I had any food, so I've pretty much forgotten how to swallow, I'm sure of it. Um, almost don't want to start, but I'm gonna. Classic cheese pizza. Domino's oh pizza is so chewy, man. What's happening, Beard Army? Um, this is it, the 50,000 calorie challenge. Welcome to the video. And since this is such a long video, I thought that I would join you at some key points along the journey just to share some of my thoughts and uh, keep entertaining for you guys. I know not everyone has the time to watch uh, an hour long YouTube video, so feel free to dip in and out. Uh, thanks for making it this far. I really appreciate you watching the video. <coughs> 11 minutes. I think that stone is time is safe.
<sighs> Oops. Some people call it an abomination. I think it makes sense. A secret weapon. Hopefully it's gonna be a secret weapon. So we kicked off the 50,000 calorie challenge with a stunt that you guys might have seen already. Earlier this week, I put up the Rock's legendary cheat day challenge. Uh, so if you want to watch the full feature length, unedited version of that challenge, then click on the card on your screen or the, the link in the description. And this was a fun, if not particularly intelligent way to start the, uh, the whole 50,000 calorie challenge. The idea was to try and get as many calories down towards the beginning to make the rest of the journey you know, easier, but uh, I think if I did this again, I probably wouldn't do that. That's an insane amount of food to get down. Uh, didn't quite get Matt Stoney's time of 33 minutes, but I think he used uh, slightly smaller pizzas than me. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you enjoy this, and I'll see you at the next meal. Right, so we're not going to get Matt Stoney's time. <laughs> but I'll be damned if I'm not going to finish this. 40 minutes. Come on. So, um, food on the end of my lens. So I'm just editing some footage. Um, feel pretty miserable right now. That was a lot of food to eat. And it's about three hours later now. Um, I think. That's the time and date. Um, and don't think I forgot about that disgusting milkshake. Still drinking that. Really don't feel like eating, but one thing that I'm excited about trying is some of this. I know what you're thinking. Who buys food via mail order? Really, who? Well, sometimes I do. And here I've got Cinnabon. Pretty much you can't get these like anywhere in England, so. It says heat to eat. I'm gonna go in with the, uh, I think this is a classic, classic Cinnabon first. <laughs> they are good. Oh, I don't really wanna eat. <laughs> they do taste good. Had to take a shower, wash my beard, change my clothes after that last meal. Man, that was a messy one. Next we got pecan. This one is nice. I don't quite know what you're supposed to do with these though. Let's well, cream, just in case you needed more calories.
We also got chocolate. I think this is relatively new. Totally gonna have to wash my beard again. I'm not sure if it's because of all the chocolate I ate last week, but this is kind of bitter. One last Cinnabon. I think I got two classics, one pecan, one chocolate. These are like, oh man, I'm eating my moustache. These are like 900 calories each. I think the pecan one is actually more than that. This milkshake is very warm now. So meal two was probably the most difficult um, of all the meals over this whole 50 hour period. Um, just because this is like three, four hours after the Rock's legendary cheat day. I really didn't want to eat at all. I would normally go 24 hours at least before eating again after a meal that size. They were delicious, even if very painful to eat. I think that has some chunks of brownie in. Ooh. That's gonna be like 22,000-ish. Not a bad start. Time to get some sleep. <laughs> Need coffee. So it's the morning after the Rock's legendary cheat day challenge. Plus four Cinnabons, and uh, we had that milkshake too. So, 22,340. Which is a pretty good start, but I really just don't want to eat now. <laughs> don't want to even smell food. Every time I burp, I just taste pizza. So I'm just having coffee out of one of my favorite mugs this morning no real plan for today uh, the only place really I want to get to is five guys uh, that's one place I'm definitely gonna go but uh, apart from that it's gonna freestyle what do you think we should eat today darling pizza I don't want any more pizza <laughs> Calvary no I've tried five guys I'm definitely going to five guys you know me too well I'm starting to feel better now, like I can eat maybe. Although it's only been like, it's not even been like eight hours since I last ate. I finished editing my video at two, two a.m. and well, six. So I don't know how I'm, I'm this chirpy this morning. Says that you're a fast, like waiting outside Burger King for it to open. It's 8 a.m. I thought it'd be open by now. All right, so apparently that Burger King doesn't open till 10 a.m. Says they do breakfast though, which is weird. You know, to find something else. Good old McDonald's instead. Good old McDonald's. It's no secret that I'm not the biggest fan of McDonald's food in general, but their breakfast is solid. Can't go wrong with a double sausage McMuffin, double sausage bagel, pancakes. I don't know why I ordered pancakes. We're so tired of pancakes at this point. And real quick, I just wanted to highlight that all the nutritional information from this 50 hour period, I'm gonna include as screenshots from my MyFitnessPal diary at the end of the video. Why would you sit next to me in an empty restaurant? You know, I would suspect like an acid attack is about to happen or I'm about to get mugged or something. It's just really creepy and weird.
When the McDonald's toilets get so dope, this is a nice toilet. Alright, so Burger King seems to be open now, which is a plus. What's that doing breakfast? Can I get two double croissant witches, please? And some mini pancakes. Caramel and vanilla latte. Two mini pancakes, is that six? What question was six or nine? Might as well make it nine. So meal number four, Burger King finally opened. Uh, I got a couple of these double sausage croissant witches, which I had last time and I wasn't like the biggest fan of them. Um, so I thought, oh, maybe they were having a bad day, I'll try them again. And to say these things are like, I think they're about 800 calories. I put a count somewhere on the screen, but I don't think they're really worth that. Yeah, indeed. I got this and some mini pancakes. Again with the pancakes, I don't know why. You'd think I would have had enough of pancakes by now. So it's half past nine, getting done with the uh, coffee and the croissant which, then I'll move on to the mini pancakes. Anyways, see you at the next meal. Since I'm in Leeds today, I thought I'd pay my boys at Lord's Barber in a visit. See if I can get an appointment for uh, my next haircut. This is uh, this is Lord's Barber in say hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hi everyone. This is where I get my haircut. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Man? I'm doing uh, trying to eat 50,000 calories in 50 hours today. So. Yeah. Is the bar open yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's open in Lysa on as well. If you want to go down and have a look. I'll have a look if I'm allowed to. Might have stopped down here. Yeah, right, good. Sorry. Cool bar this one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I'll see you later boys. What's the bar called? The Domino. The Domino, right, so if you're in Leeds, you want a haircut or you want, I don't know, whiskey. The Domino. You know where it's at. <laughs> see you later boys. I think the people in there actually having their haircut were pretty confused by that. Probably something to do with the fact that I said I was trying to eat 50,000 calories. 
maybe. So Kira, my barber, just told me that apparently there's a place down here that sells warm cookie dough and ice cream. I can't see it though. All right, so I think I found it. It's called My Cookie Dough. So this must be it. Uh, I think I've eaten too many brands. Oh, yeah, I'll go with Nutella, yeah. Nutella? Yeah, please. And whipped cream, is that alright? Yeah, whipped cream is fine, yeah. Do you have any idea how many calories are in these? Can't imagine I've been too healthy, though. <laughs> cream, just to say sorry about that. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you, thanks. It's 11.09. Took it into this delicious cookie dough. The idea today was to um, not eat so much sweet stuff. Zero willpower. This with the whipped cream are coming at about probably 700 calories ish. Wait, are you in Leeds? Yeah, you want to buy me some dinner? Alright, cool. Just give me like 10 minutes. Alright, bye. All done. So, my mum has been, uh, she must be following me on social media. This is, uh, Hello. this is Mama Beard. Hi. Well, she, she doesn't have a beard, but um, she's on to me. I normally like to keep what I'm doing from her because she worries, but she knows that I'm Damn doing. Damn right, I worry. <laughs> she knows that I'm uh, I'm doing this 50,000 calorie challenge. You think I'm gonna do it, Ma? Probably, but I should stop doing them. <laughs> so I just met my mum for a drink, and must be the world's biggest idiot because I ordered a diet coke. I'm trying to get to 50,000 calories. <laughs> uh oh. Imbecile. So we're just a little bit out of the center of Leeds now, in a in a place called Kirkstall. Um, we just walked down here, burn off some calories. I'm feeling a little bit tripped out. <laughs> I've eaten so much now, and you know, usually with these cheat days, you don't get mechanically full, or certainly I don't feel mechanically full. But you start noticing that your breathing's getting shallow and stuff like that, which is not fun because obviously there's so much food in you, so much waste that your lungs don't have as much room to expand. <laughs> stuff like that, it's not fun. But I'll see what is fun. Five guys. Five guys is a lot of fun. Let's get inside here. Um, can I get. Two bacon cheeseburgers all the way. And I get two uh, peanut butter, Oreo, and bacon milkshakes. <laughs> so the guys at Five Guys, the guy at Five Guys says he's, he's seen some of our videos <laughs> and he's got seven patties on the grill. So he says I can have all seven instead of just four. Four and a three. Do you want to just do? <laughs> just try to just do three in each burger. Yeah. Okay. And also, when you're offering way too many fries, like a side of fries. Side of fries. Yeah, I won't say no. <laughs> uh, <copy down. laughs> So the guys here at Five Guys have seen some of my videos, uh, so they had a couple of extra patties on the grill, so um, this is it. This is unholy looking at it man. They've got three patties in it, plus bacon, cheese, all the way. Almost forgot again. 
still Tuesday the 25th. This is not practical to eat at all. Have to go to Five Guys. Love Five Guys, I think it's my favorite burger joint. For me, people say it's expensive, um, and it is like eight, nine quid for a burger, uh, but it's just a different class to, you know, KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, stuff like that. If I'm gonna get fast food, I come to Five Guys, and not only the burgers, my favorite part about uh, five Guys is the milkshakes and I always get the same thing peanut butter Oreo and bacon sounds gross, but I don't care. It's not gross. It tastes amazing So try it and this was a fun trip to five guys um, Some of the guys recognized my uh, face my videos uh, And they had like seven patties on the grill. So I was supposed to get four and end up getting like seven. So Yeah, this trip was a lot of fun Milkshakes in the English weather for you. So it's sunny, but it's actually ah, snowing, or I think that's hailstorm. But you see that it's getting caught in my beard. So just got done with five guys. That's almost 34,000 calories so far, I think. And uh, since we're pretty much halfway there, I figured why not take a trip to my favorite restaurant in the world, Huckleberry's American Diner. So just waiting for the bus now. I'm really starting to feel it now. <coughs> it's getting quite hard to breathe. <laughs> uh, and I haven't really pooped today yet, so that's kind of worrying. Hey, Ben, is it true this has got 2,000 calories in it? 2,000 calories. <laughs> this is all, this all mine again. I feel miserable. Don't want to eat anything. But we've got a 2,000 calorie donut burger. I think this might be my last meal of the day. We will see. But I really don't want to eat this. Because I can. Rules go out the window when you're trying to eat 50,000 calories, believe me. The lemon cheesecake milkshake was a good choice because that sourness kind of 
cuts through the really rich, sickly, sugary taste that pretty much I've been having all day, you know. Had to go into Huckleberries, right? A lot of you guys know that um, I do some work for uh, Huckleberries American Diner, which is a small restaurant chain. Um, so I do some contract work for them, but that comes with free perks, right? Like food. Um, so I thought, save some money. I spent a lot of money today. So I thought I'd go into Huckleberries um, and order my favorite dirty donut burger and uh, a lemon cheesecake milkshake, which really helped cut through the flavor, like I said, um, the repetitive junk food flavor. Delicious meal, although at this point you can see I just didn't want to eat at all. This took me quite a long time to eat. I think it took me like half an hour, which I mean a meal like this would normally take like five minutes at the most. It was tasty though, check them out. Huckleberry's American Diner, if you're in the north at least, you should eat here at least once. Try it, you'll never go back. See you the next meal. I feel like I've got so much stuff inside me I can't even get burps up properly. 22 hours since I uh, since I last started, so I've already broken my last record for most calories eaten in 24 hours, I think. <coughs> I really don't want to eat anything else today. So My night in Shining Armour came to uh, came to rescue me. I don't think I could have made it home on public transportation. You wouldn't believe how good this feels. Good morning, Beard Army. <coughs> so it's 9.02, 26th of April. Pretty much 12 hours from this point to get down another 13,000 calories ish. I feel so bad this morning. I almost can't put it into words. My diaphragm actually hurts from having so much stuff inside me. My organs hurt just from the stress of keeping everything in. All my organs moving around and stuff to make room for my stomach. And my stomach still feels rock hard. And not in a good way. I feel dehydrated. I brought it on myself. <laughs> Fortunately, I managed to go to the toilet twice now. I spent a good 25 minutes on the toilet this morning. But it's another big day of eating ahead, so you know what they say, no rest for the stupid. I'm definitely stupid. In 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna try eat some cereal, high calorie cereal, but there's a little bit more fiber in that than um, anything that I've pretty much eaten over the past, what, 30, eight hours or something. Last night, I, um, I uploaded The Rock's legendary cheat day challenge. 20,000 views, 10 hours, that is not half bad. Right, let's make some food.
All right, so we're getting started a little bit later than I actually planned. Just really didn't want to eat. <laughs> but we've got thousands of calories still left to consume, so. So here in front of me, I have four super thick slices of French toast with maple syrup and some cinnamon, some chocolate granola with double stuffed Oreos and some peanut butter Oreos, and another coffee with another 200 mils of double cream. You can see that. 5,310 calories. I actually wanted to have like a small breakfast this morning, but I've fallen behind a little bit, so. So for this meal, I definitely made some high calorie choices. Bunch of really thick sliced French toast, which is my new favorite thing. You know, a lot of people ask me if I could only eat one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? I normally say cheesecake, but I'm lying. I think it'd be French toast. Okay, it's a little bit raw in the middle, but that's all right, I think. Nobody gets food poisoning from eggs anymore, do they? For right now, this is going down pretty smooth. I'm feeling confident. Covered this in maple syrup, fried it in tons of butter, and uh, had an Oreo granola cereal bowl with a bunch of cream in there too. So not that much food volume, but a, a lot of calories. Um, and yeah, this, is, this went down pretty smooth, you know, to say I've been overeating for a long time. I was still kind of sore around the midriff, but I made pretty light work of this. Tasty too. Granola, I'm definitely gonna do a granola challenge. Love granola. Can't forget all that juicy maple syrup. I'm okay. I think this is my favorite granola. I think it's Kellogg's. Oh, Kellogg's crunchy chocolate or something. Or Kellogg's crunchy dark chocolate. Something like that. The Oreos give it like a nice salty taste. And the cream gives it like a really rich softness. Man, I've spent so much money doing this. I must be at like 170 quid now or something. Quid is British slang for the Great British Pound, in case you're wondering. Unless you're not from England. This coffee's gone cold now. I've totally forgotten how many calories I've eaten, so I'm gonna quickly add them all up. This is totally insane. Who knows? Maybe I can do more than 50,000. You know, somebody said to me yesterday, you do realize you're eating like 20 days worth of food in the space of 50 hours. And I've never really thought about it like that. <laughs> and before you guys get any ideas, no, there's, there's not going to be a 75,000 calorie challenge. So don't even try. My face seems to be getting really red. That ain't right. Look like I've got leprosy or something. 
Anyway, it's about 1 p.m. now. Only eight hours to go. So I think it's time I ate some more food. <sighs> So it's pretty much 2.15, um, about seven hours left uh, of the 50 hour time limit. Uh, and now I'm resorting to insanely high fat cooking techniques. Just a bunch of junk food with as much fat in as possible. I got an old favorite from last time, four grilled cheese donuts, which I actually really love, uh, with a bunch of toppings in. That's why uh, I put all this stuff here. Uh, one of them is white chocolate and blueberry, one is Nutella, one is uh, peanut butter, and the other one is Bischoff or Biscoff, I don't really know how you say that. Plus, we got some uh, granola again, because that went down pretty smooth. Different kind of granola this time, salted caramel. Uh, but all this comes in at 5,500 calories, believe it or not. These are pretty much a thousand each, almost. Almost there. Also got some juice, just because... I'm starting to feel really dehydrated, so... Anyway, let's take these down. Start with the uh, peanut butter and the jam. They actually look really tasty when they, you know, were just done cooking. Now they've gone cold, not so much. This is a very appropriate t-shirt right now. And grilled cheese donuts, I freaking love these things. I eat them like a lot now. Um, I wish they didn't have so many calories in, you know, cause you have to pretty much dip the donuts in butter, deep fry them, put in like two, three slices of cheese. I think Biscoff is a, like blended up biscuits, I think, in a spread, like um, malted biscuits. I think that's what it is. white chocolate and blueberry spread on it. <sighs> then I like putting uh, sweet toppings on them, so uh, they're, they're definitely pretty bad for you, but for something like this, the 50,000 calorie challenge, perfect, you know, pretty much 1,000 calorie for each donut, um, and I had some more granola here, which wasn't quite as nice as the first granola, but still pretty good. I'm gonna eat some granola. I made this with another 200 mils of cream and a couple of people gave me some abuse on the 35,000 calorie cheat there for using cream but on cereal and milkshakes cream makes it taste nice right so <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> why not include it this is salted caramel granola I just saw it in the supermarket picked it up sounded nice it's not quite as good as the Kellogg's one I had this morning, but it's still pretty tasty. <sighs> There's still a lot of stuff inside me right now. I mean, I went to the toilet this morning, and about two hours after that, and about 10 minutes ago. But still, there's a lot of stuff inside me. There's a total calorie count right now. <sighs> So just about a regular person's daily caloric intake left to go. I think I can do this. I feel so disgusting right now. My beard's all crusty. Just been sat here all day, eating, 
haven't moved more than 10 feet from a toilet or a couch all day. And I think I really should get some exercise, so I'm going to go shower, wash my beard, and uh, go for a little walk, I think. I've got my lucky pizza coat on. It's time to put these calories to good use. Let's get some exercise. So we're almost here. The place I'm going to is called Xscape. Like escape, but with an X. And they have like cinemas, bowling. They also have like a ski slope with real snow, which is weird because it's inside. I'm not going skiing or anything like that. I don't ski, but um, they've got a couple of restaurants here, so I'm gonna check one of them out today. This was probably the dumbest move of the entire 50 hour period. Tacos, these are like the smallest tacos in the universe. No more than like 200 calories each at the absolute most. So this was kind of a bad idea. I meant to go uh, to this hot dog joint that used to be around here called Primo's but it's closed down so uh, I kind of got a mini craving for soft shell tacos but I don't know what the hell these things were. They took like two minutes to eat. A Diet Coke again, I, I don't know why. Here, up ahead, there's a, there's like a farm shop that does huge cakes. Man, that was a tough walk. I actually feel heavier. I don't know how obese people do it. Oh, that's nice. I'm just gonna chill out here for a while. I'm just gonna compose myself. I've had enough of the 50,000 calorie challenge. Let's get it done. It's half past six. Let's box it off. And this final meal here, I'm gonna let you enjoy uninterrupted. A slice of carrot cake the size of my head, a pint of Ben and Jerry's, and my twist on the Elvis sandwich with like 10 slices of streaky bacon, peanut butter, and some blueberry jam. Um, anyway, this is it. This is the final meal. Enjoy it. Whew. What a journey it has been, people. This is it, this is the last meal on the journey to 50,000 calories. It is 19.04, which is almost exactly 48 hours after I started. There's roughly speaking 3,300 calories in this meal. This slice is over one pound of carrot cake. We got my twist on a, an old classic, the Elvis sandwich. I don't have any bananas, so. Sadly, it's just bacon, peanut butter, and uh, jam. I used uh, black. I used blueberry. Oh, let's go ahead and do it. Start with the. Uh Look at that, ain't it beautiful?
I think this has pieces of brownie in it, which is reminding me of the Rock's legendary cheat day challenge. Carrot cake. <laughs> and that was actually the 52,911 calorie challenge. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, really. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> oh man, I'm never going to eat again. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Assuming I survived the night. Just in case you're wondering. So that's it guys. I know it was a long video, so even if you watched a little bit, thanks for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to join me for the 50,000 calorie aftermath. We'll see how much weight I gained.